As a devoted royal fan, I am captivated by the fascinating insights into Prince George's upbringing and preparation for his future role as the second in line to the throne. Despite his royal status, it is heartening to learn that Prince George is being raised with as much normalcy as possible, alongside his younger siblings, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. According to royal historian Robert Lay, Prince George has already started taking part in meetings that will equip him with the knowledge and skills required to be a future king. Prince George just turned 10 last month. He is second in line to the throne as Prince William's eldest child. Robert Lay reports that George will take classes like the ones his father, Prince William, his grandfather, King Charles, and his great-grandmother, the late Queen Elizabeth, took to prepare them to rule. Even at the tender age of seven, Prince George began to grasp the importance of his inherited role with his parents. Prince William and Duchess Catherine gently guided him towards selfless acts and causes, from delivering meals to at-risk neighbors during the coronavirus pandemic to participating in litter-picking at school. He is already demonstrating a sense of responsibility and compassion. I am impressed by how Prince George's parents have struck a balance between his royal duties and a normal childhood. Though his privacy has been fastidiously guarded by his parents since he was born. We're seeing George more and more these days from cricket matches to Wimbledon, to attending the Royal International Air Tattoo and trooping the color. He looks the spitting image of his dad and insists on dressing like him too with a jacket and tie when the occasion requires. He gets on well with his loving granddad King Charles III too and famously took part in the coronation as a page of honor and didn't put a foot wrong. George is expected to be educated about his official royal duties and the Constitution as well as the importance of the Commonwealth. It's a lot of responsibility for a young person and something George first started. Learning about not long ago, reports that the future king won't have to join the British armed forces like his royal predecessors have been played down. Besides Catherine showing herself to be an excellent parent in quite difficult circumstances, and doing a great job of making sure George grows up as balanced, confident, and happy as possible. A second in line to the throne behind his father, Prince William, he is in a unique position for a child who has only just reached his double digits milestone. But it's his mother who is keeping him as grounded as possible. Despite his destined path, Catherine ensures he experiences outings with friends, visits to local museums and farms, and walks in the park instilling a sense of grounded and joy in his formative years. I think it's also much better and more modern to bring up George in a house that isn't too vast on the Windsor estate. He's got a lot on his plate coming to terms with the role that lies ahead and the fact that he is by accident a birth different from every other child his age. I think he needs his parents close by to talk things through which I'm sure they do, much like his father. Prince William once had chats with his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth Ball, a student at Eton. George is beginning to do the same with his grandparent on the throne. When William was a student at Eton College, he'd meet with the Queen for tea at Windsor Castle and learn what he could at school, how to be king. George and his parents were seen touring Eton College, his father's alma mater, which begins accepting pupils at 13, just three years from now from George. Although Catherine and William will probably send him to boarding school in the future, I suppose it won't be for another three years overall. I believe that Prince George's upbringing exemplifies a thoughtful and progressive approach to royal parenting, striking a balance between tradition and modernity. As he continues to grow and evolve, guided by the loving support of his parents and the wisdom of his grandparents, I do not doubt that he will be a remarkable future king, making a positive impact on the monarchy and the world.